Okay, what is up traders? What's up tycoons? Coming at you guys with an update on Teller, okay, ticker symbol TRB, breaking it down on the daily chart for you. Um, I gave the major breakout level of support down here, and then I also gave three bearish price targets to the downside. As you can see, we ended up did breaking that, and we came down to our second bearish price target of 10.03. We did dip slightly below it and then found support there. And we've started to recover a little bit, all right? Now we're doing some good things. We're heading in the right direction, but there hasn't been as much momentum behind Teller as there has been in the rest of the crypto market. And there's some really important signals that you need to be aware of on the relative strength index and the MACD. So I'm going to break down all of that along with the three major retracement levels. OK, so you're going to learn a lot in this video. It's going to be informative. And then I'm going to update you guys on the major levels that we need to hold of support for us to continue going higher. Otherwise, we could be getting a reversal. So make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and we'll get straight into it. So the reason that these three right here, the 38.2, 50%, and 61.8 are the most important retracement levels is because nothing moves in a straight line up or a straight line down. You get a move up retracement and then a continuation higher, or you get a move up retracement and you break through those retracement levels, at which point you can spot a potential reversal. So we've got our swing low connected up here to our most recent swing high. And, you know, if we get some type of a pullback to these three levels, we want to see us find support and push to continue going up higher. If we come down and break through these levels, then we could be possibly coming down to retest our prior bearish price targets of 10.03, 8.72 and 10.94. Now, the three major support levels you want to hold is going to be 1459, 1354, and 1249. All right. <clears throat> we are trading above those levels currently. That's a good sign. But if you look at your relative strength index, which is going to be measuring the relative strength of a token at its given price. So if you're seeing price go up, right, as it has been, you should see the relative strength, the strength of the token be increasing as well. In this case, we don't have that. We have what's known as a bearish divergence where we have a high and a lower high while we made a high and a higher high, right? So um, that does indicate you could see some type of bearish activity. We did get a pullback already from about $18 down here to about 15.5. Um but let's take a look in the past and see how this has played out before once we got bearish divergence, okay? If we zoom out a little bit and go backwards uh, over here to the past, we can see that we had a bearish chart pattern setting up. And we had bearish divergence and a MACD crossover, okay? So I'm going to break down all of those. And these are the warning signs that you need to be aware of and be cautious of on TRB right now. So we had this ascending wedge, okay? It's a bearish pattern where if you break this trend line, you can expect a move to the downside. Um, then you had a MACD sell signal. So if you're not familiar with the MACD, it's a great tool and it's most effective on the daily time frame for spotting possible entries or exits. So in this case, an exit signal would be the blue line crossing below this orange line. So as you can see, the blue line crosses below the orange line up here. And we also have a bearish divergence, right? Where we're making a high here and then a higher high up here, but we're making a high and a lower high. So lower highs on the relative strength index with higher highs on the price of the token, that's going to be a bearish divergence. And then we got a MACD sell signal, and then we got a break of the trend line, and we had a big, big move to the downside. Let's take a look and go back to what we're looking at currently. So if we take a look at the current price action, okay, uh, and take a look at our MACD, you can see right here we got an entry signal, okay? So the blue line crossed above the orange line at this point on the chart. And what do you know? We broke out past our major breakout level, okay? And then we started to get a push up, a retrace, and then a push back up. But again, as I mentioned, we have a high here and a lower high here. So we're starting to build a bearish divergence on the chart. If we end up seeing this blue line cross below this orange line right here, that's going to be your MACD sell signal and could signify a break of our major retracement levels. Now, there's no guarantee, right? We could, you know, just pull back, get the MACD sell signal, and then it could curl back above, right? So this point over here, it's curled down before and then curled back up. And then ultimately, it curled back down again and led to another big drop. Um, but, you know, it doesn't have to be a huge, huge, massive move. It could just be a healthy pullback to our retracement levels. But you want to be prepared for the major support levels that you need to hold for us to continue to go higher. Otherwise, you know, we're going to come down and reverse and potentially come back and test these bearish price targets that we had before. So, you know, keep an eye on this bearish divergence trend line. 
you want to see us break through it. If we can break through, retest the trend line and continue heading upwards, that's going to be a good sign. That's going to be a sign that we still have some bullish momentum going on and that we were able to break through the bearish divergence. But be aware of the blue line crossing below the orange line. If you get a MACD sell signal, there is potential that we could see some type of a sharp pullback to our major retracement levels or potentially even break through those levels. All right. So we saw what happened last time on that. Once we got a MACD sell signal and uh, bearish divergence, we saw that there was a big drop in the chart. Uh, we have a bearish divergence forming already. So we need to break out of that. And we need to keep the blue line above the orange line on the MACD. If it does cross below, uh, that could be, you know, a pretty bearish signal and a good exit signal for you to get out of Teller. Now, appreciate you watching the video. If you made it this far, I think you're going to enjoy one of these next two videos as well. So make sure to click on one of those and don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe.